Baby. Alright. So, let's upgrade that in the corner. Mm -hmm. This is a Anybody there? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let me see. Normally, they do look like they're not cooked, but they're cooked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chewy Dewey. Chewy Dewey Louie. Oh, hi, come in. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. I am making some cards and bookmarks right now. I'm cutting the papers down to the size I want them for the cards. And then I'm going to go to the bookmarks and bang them out because they don't take a lot of time. The cards take a little time. How are you today? What are you doing? I know you're working on something. You have to be. You always are. Oh, thank you, honey. Yes, I love this watercolor. Um, no, it's a rainbow inks pad from Michael's. I've made a lot of stuff with this so far, and I still have a lot more paper. I want to utilize this, but I feel like that's just going to be too thin. I may have to cut another piece of the paper. Or I can offset it. I can always offset it just to give it, just to be able to utilize it. I think I will. I'm just going to offset it. Offset it like that. And then this one won't be offset. This one will be centered. That's what we'll do with that. Because I still want to utilize this paper, but I don't want to cut this one down any more than what it's already cut down. I mean, I can. I just don't want to. <laughs> you know? Tired cleaning. Oh, yeah. I worked today. I cleaned a house today. Um, so I wasn't cleaning the alarm. Somebody get your alarm. Now, I cleaned a house today, but luckily I had a very short day because it wasn't even messy because they'd been away. <laughs> Not in their home. So that worked out for me. I'm going to trim it. Mm, I really don't want to trim that. I'm scared if I trim it, I'm going to be mad at myself. Or should I just offset it? If you can do everything else that you do, you can do cards, honey. I didn't think I would be a good card maker, and then I just started making them, and I just started liking them. I like the offset, so I'm going to do that. Okay, well, what I'm going to do first, though, is bang out these bookmarks that I already have cut out. So this is another piece of the paper from the rainbow inks paper pad so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one three four five and then I have two that are like smaller where are those oh where'd you go there they are these are a little thinner but with these. And a piece of paper. And I don't want to use my good card stock. Oh, 
probably just use this. <sighs> All right. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna be making some of these bookmarks. All right. So I think I'll do. Well, I'm gonna have to do three at a time here. Let's see. I want more right now. I want more. Use that one. We'll use this one. Use this one. We're layering here. We are layering. It's gonna get messy. Let me get my wipes. So, my stamp box. All right. Let's see. Choo, choo, choo. I'm going to go with first. My favorite one. We're going to go with my favorite one first. Do that first. Alright. Been loving doing these flowers. What a color look on the page. Yeah, I know. I, I loved it. And that's why I um, really like this. Um, this paper because it's got that watercolor look to it and it's just like really pretty when you um you'll see you will definitely see so here I'm going using my gradient and I'm going purple to pink to orange I'm and I'm wearing out this um I'm wearing out this ink pad telling you I am wearing it out where do we want to put you I have to put you right there Beautiful. Right. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch. Hmm. I think I wanna do Do I wanna do two more like that? No. Do I have two more that I like? I do have to use one of the smaller ones, so I'll go ahead and get that one done. And we'll use, I'm gonna use this smaller one, because the other one I think I know what I'm gonna do with it. All right. Get it all saturated up in there. Hmm. Gonna turn this one around this way. And this one's actually gonna go down here. Yeah, I know. I love this stamp. It's so pretty. Alright, and then we're gonna throw. This one in. Yeah, I just figured I'd come on live today and um, make some of these cards. I mean, cards and um, bookmarks. Hmm. This one, sometimes I like to go more into the pink and the orange. Because it's going to be like bright 
there. <laughs> Not the only place it's going. <laughs> This one, we're coming over here. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do, go back to my other flower. Now I'm going to go more into the pink, green, purple. And I'm not cleaning off the stamp. There's really no need to. Um, it's given it like this effect that I like. So, yeah. It's giving it the effect that I like. When you, um, so I'm kind of going off the uh, paper here. It doesn't really matter. It's the whole point. Just kind of Move that one out the way real quick. I am overlapping. It's all going to look good in the end. Yeah, it's subtle right now. Wait till I um put the what's the name on. Yep. Let's see. Hmm. I'm kinda stuck on this one. Hmm. Actually, hmm, this one's a little smaller. So because it's a little smaller, I really don't want, I'm just going to give this the corner of it. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, next. Outline. This is where it gets fun. I'm going to cover this up for a second. That's dry. I have to be careful with this ink because it doesn't like to dry on this paper. I have to watch that. Um, so here I'm going to do two at a time with the black. And I'm actually going to get my other one lined up too. This one on its plaque. All right. Black. This is tricky part. But I kind of gotten used to it because I've been doing it so many times. Ah, you see that? Not so subtle anymore. <laughs> Not so subtle. Alright, so this goes... That way. Can you see? If you can see, I'm trying not to hit the camera. Because this takes patience lining up. Alright. 
second one is no. Hold on, gotta find my lines. No, that's not it. It's gotta be this way. Yep, it's this way. I believe. See, that one? Wait a minute. Okay. I gotta find the... There we go. It's not gonna be perfect exactly, but you get it. Yep, it's a layering stamp. Mm-hmm. Exactly. There's different layers. Um, where is it? Here's the stamp. It's from Hampton Arts. I got it from um, Joann's and Clarence. So yeah, this is all that you get with it. You even get stems and leaves and... Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let me set that aside. Move this one forward. I'm trying to get... all these flowers done first before I move on to the next one. <laughs> so that's those flowers. Then I gotta do the other one, and then we're gonna add some leaves. And I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of drawing on that. Not much, just a little, little sketch here and there. Get these out of my way. I don't want any catastrophes. Not today. Not today. Alright. And then we're going to put the phrase and everything up at the top. But I would like to get this, the flower stamped first because sometimes they take a little time to dry. Boom. Got that one. And where's this match at? This match is here. Here we go. Alright, so now let's grab our other flower. The um, outline of it. There you go. Now, black don't take that long to dry. Any plans for the, any, oh, plans, um, well, I have, um, my stepsister's birthday is this weekend, so, and, um, she has, um, like, her family, well, the family is, um, in here from Arizona visiting, and, um, I think I might go over there and take some crabs over there and eat over there for a little while. Oh, that was a little off because I was talking, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. Um, but besides that, no, I actually have to work 
Sunday Sunday afternoon, but it's only for like three hours. Um, it's not much. It's, I don't have much to do there. Um, a clean and Airbnb that one of my customers have, and I have to clean it tomorrow after 11 o'clock, and then I have to clean it when they leave Sunday for the next person coming in that evening. <laughs> plans for the weekend not much besides maybe um visiting family for a couple hours and having some maryland crabs and some drinks and probably just relaxing all right so i got them in i'm gonna do the leaves so let's get the leaves in get them in too and then the other five well i still have one more Oh, to make of this. Uh, yeah. It's not, um, I mean, the work's not too much work. It's really, um, it's a tiny, like, apartment almost. And honestly, I am waiting on the laundry um, to finish drying by time I'm done everything I'm doing so it's like you know I just yeah yeah so it's like whatever this is another Hampton art set and it's actually not the same set but I like the leaf on it the shape of the leaf so I use that shape of the leaf to um put leaves in here But this doesn't have a black outline, so um, I just draw a couple little, um, I just use this green right here, even though I have plenty of greens, but I just like this green. It flows with everything. So I just kind of like find places where I can put the leaves to fill in. the bottom like okay there's a leaf a leaf a leaf will look good here a leaf will look good there right here a leaf will look good here and then sometimes it's only like a half a leaf that I put in like here I'm gonna boop, like that but that kind of filled it in so it's meant to look you know um what's the word carmen you know the word it's meant to look uh oh gosh i can't the word is right on the tip of my tongue and i can't even get it out <laughs> so here it's just the end of the leaf there and then let's see I don't have to touch on that pad much neither. I really don't. Um, definitely put one here. Just don't drop the block. I've done that before too. Messed up my messed up my artwork just by dropping the block on something, and it's like, uh, <gasps> mm. just give that something there. On to the next one. Uh, put that one there. <laughs> put a little that right there even you know, if I want I could put one up here I think I will I think I'll put one right coming out of there there we go I ain't nothing wrong with being lazy nothing wrong with being lazy I have them I have the moments where I just don't want to do anything but what I want to do, which is sometimes this. 
So I'm going to put one right here. And then we're going to put one Mm -mm. Gonna put one right there. And just because there's really not anything down here at the bottom leaf wise, throw a little bit of green in it. And the green picks up really good on this uh purple paper too, like it um you can still see it it's really pigmented so that's good um, I feel like I want to leave here but I feel like I don't but I'm gonna put one there like it's coming off of um, the flower over here but you can't see all of it so that's what we'll do with that one Actually, see, it's like the more I look at it, it's like, okay, well, let me, now let me add something here, too. There we go. Alright, so that's that. Multicolor inks pads. We have to go. Yeah, I, this was, um, when did I, I bought this. Oh, gosh, this is um, just recent purchase to me, too. I bought this on clearance at um, Joann's. Um, they had a whole bunch of different ones on clearance. I actually got... This tone, too, on clearance. Um, my lighting is horrible in here with this light. It's uh, brown, gold, and silver. And I love the way it stamps out. I've been using this stamp a lot. Zoom in a little more. There we go. I wanted to get that a little closer. There we go. That's better. So you see how it gives it that so much of that better dimension. All right. I'm trying to see if it's still a little wet. If it's still a little wet, I'm going to take my heat gun to it. Which it still looks a little wet. I have to do that sometimes too with this. That's the only thing. Like I love the paper. But it's got that. Um, that like shiny texture to it. So sometimes the specific inks that you use. Won't necessarily dry all that quick. So um, <clears throat> even this. I have to take my heat gun to it. Just to dry it a little bit before I move on to the next step and smudge something and mess it up and then be mad. So, we don't want that happening. I had a catastrophe with the laminator and it ate one, it ate four bookmarks that I made and <laughs> there were no coming back from those. It, that wasn't, it wasn't coming back. I'm just gonna hold this down real quick and put in a little heat. Like I can see I can still see shine and some of them I don't want them to be wet Lord forbid. I'm gonna do something and smudge it. I'm gonna be mad. Oh, I was so mad. I was so mad. It, it, 
I don't know why it got. I, well, I have a feeling I know why it got stuck. Let me turn this off. I think it got stuck because it was my own dumbness. I, I, I just don't know. But, um, everything's fine now. The laminator is actually working right. Um, <laughs> so, because I ran something through it again and didn't have the problem. Fixed the issue. It didn't jam it up really bad. So, that was good. Alright, so, these are pretty much dry. I'm gonna, um, Jesus. I was so mad. I don't know if you saw that video or not, but I did show what happened to them. It was just disgraceful. It was bad. I was so upset. And they looked so good. The The flowers were perfect. Everything on them was perfect. Hun, and then bam. All right. So I'm doodling here a little bit. I'm just basically you know highlighting where these leaves are I'm just giving them something here and there you know just to say hey I'm a leaf I'm here you see me you know that's what I'm doing with this all because um, you know this leaf doesn't have an outline um, stamp to it so I'm creating my own little outline. World of difference, right? Not sure you saw it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it was in like a project share video. It, I just, just showed it. That's all it was. Like, look at this catastrophe. Look at what happened. To these beautiful bookmarks. That's what happened. Damn machine ate it up, girl. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was like, no. It took me about 20 minutes before, and I just sat here in my chair looking at them, debating on whether or not I wanted to make four more. And I did. I sat here and made four more after that happened. They just weren't on the same paper because I think it was actually the that paper was like the last one from the rainbow packs of that color pattern so yeah I couldn't make the exact same ones again so you see I just did that just added a little bit of black here and there to highlight the um the flowers well not the flowers the um the leaves you know what all that's about I know you do I wish I could do a lot of the things that you do I just my mind doesn't run that deep in creativeness which I love what you do like all your, your mixed media stuff and all I like I can't I just, I don't know how you do it, but when you do it and then it like turns out in this amazing piece, it's just like, wow, you're awesome. Do you ever like sell your, did you ever sell your stuff at like big craft fairs? Did you um ever um do big craft fairs, Carmen? art shows art fairs things like that you know what's sad um this weekend our state actually baltimore would have been having their um their big arts festival in baltimore it's a free arts festival and everybody takes their art like you know people sell i mean you talking about vendor after vendor artist after artist sells their stuff down there gina deluca um all her, she has I don't know if you know about Gina DeLuca do you know who Gina DeLuca is well she's out of Baltimore and she actually had all of her artwork down at Fells Point like um right before the pandemic happened 
she had um, a lot of her artwork featured down there so but we were supposed to be having um, artscape this weekend but because of you know everything going on there's no artscape and that's one thing I wanted to get into like but that thing you have to like register like probably a year or two ahead of time because spots fill up so quickly for it yeah, Gina does a lot of pouring art art pouring she does the pour art you should check her out she has a, a lot of amazing pieces but she does all the lot of the poor art that's how I actually kind of just rant uh, stumbled upon the poor art just recent well not recently a little while ago um and I want you know, I like I was like oh that's so cool I'd love to do that but I don't have the space for that type of stuff like I I need my own freaking like art room and stuff like that, that's just it's beautiful but it's just too much of a mess I don't have the space where I live for that okay I think those are all doodled in the way I want them now I think so Yes, the ball. well, you need a ragged edge. There we go. Doodled in, doodled in. All right, the leaves are doodled in. Leaves are doodled in. So we're sort of going to put this one over here because he's the oddball out. There we go. Yeah, well, my craft space. Yeah, she is on YouTube. Um, I want to say it is Gina De Luca. So like Gina and then D E capital D E and then Luca L U C A. Um, um, what was I about to say? I think I was gonna answer a question. Yeah, well, all I have is one little area, like one little corner in my living room. So don't feel bad <laughs> you're not the only one um, hmm. those are more white so I want to choo -choo -choo -doo 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 -choo -choo -doo. I think oh god that scared me Whew. <laughs> I thought that was smudged look I thought that was smudged ink I was about to throw a fit I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make one more of these just one all by itself um, I wanted to bang out as many as I could I wanted to see how long it took me to do that actually it didn't take me long at all but oh my gosh man Mm -hmm. so make sure this is down pretty secure different effect mm -mm -mm. Oh. change switch mm -mm -mm. Hmm. 
this one. I should have cleaned it. But that's okay. I think my pink's running out. <laughs> I really think my pink's running out. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was that? Huh? Oh, that was the child. All right, hun. See you later. Are you not cooked or something? Oh, it's fine. Sorry. It's fine. That's the way it should be. Now, if they wouldn't have been cooked in the center, then, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the problem. <laughs> about, oh, no. Huh? 
Yeah, pizza and salad. Pizza and a salad. Well, since nobody's really on here, I am going to cut this off, turn on my music, and jam. Thanks for joining, Carmen. <laughs> 